Zoo and the Hermit Crab. Okay, Zoo. Um, an aardvark. <laughs> an antelope. <laughs> no, Grandpa. It has to be an animal that carries its home on its back. Well, <laughs> there aren't many of those. Oh, I've got a good one. See if you can guess what it is. Oh, uh, uh, let's see now. It has four feet and... It's a tortoise. <laughs> you got it, Grandpa. Hi, Z. Oh, what's that? It's my bucket tortoise. I'm just showing Grandpa the animal that I'm doing for our school project. Oh, I'm doing a tortoise too. I'm painting a picture of one. I don't want to do what someone else is doing. But, Zoo, you can do a tortoise as well. That's all right, Elsie. I'll try and think of something else. Well, I've got some more work to do. I'll see you later. See you later, Elsie. Oh, <sighs> now what do I do? I'm going inside to think. Come on, Sue. I'm sure you can think of another animal to do for your project. How about a terrapin? Zach's doing that. He's got a pet one. Oh, I see. <laughs> What's the difference between a terrapin and a tortoise, anyway? A terrapin can go on land and on water, but a tortoise mainly goes on land. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure we can think of something else. An ant! Oh, no, that lives in an anthill. <laughs> Silly me. A bee! No, they live in a hive. Uh, I know, a snail. Grandpa, that's it, a snail. They carry their houses on their backs. Let's go and look for some in the garden. Mm. I can't see any. They must be shy. I know just where they'll be. Come on, Zoo. Oh. Oh, they're usually here. Oh, I know where they are. Where, Grandpa? Where? Follow me. <sighs> right here. Right where they shouldn't be. Big. I'm not surprised. It's eating all my flowers for breakfast. It's got a pretty shell. A snail is a very special animal. It carries its home on its back. This is going to be the best project ever. Hi, Sue. Hi, Grandpa. Hello, Zinnia. Hi. We were in the area. Yes, I just got this snail kit. I'm going to make a mosaic snail for our school project. You're doing a snail? Yes, Zinnia is so clever. She thought of a snail all by herself. <laughs> but I'm doing a snail. You can do a snail too. That's okay, Zinnia. I'll do something else. Well, we should be off. Zinnia needs to start making her mosaic. Good luck with your project, Sue. See you later. Bye. Oh, the only other animal I can think of is a turtle. And they live in the sea. Well, maybe there'll be one at the beach. Come on, Sue, let's go and take a look. And if we can't find one, we'll find some pretty shells to bring back for your mum. OK, Grandpa. Mum loves shells. sign of a turtle here. Well, perhaps one will be along later. Let's go and look in the rock pool. One could be hiding in there. <laughs> hmm. Lots of everything, but no turtle. Oh, yes. <laughs> a seahorse, a starfish, a 
little shellfish. They're all great, Grandpa, but I wish one of them carried its home on its back. Then I could do it as my project. Hmm. It's okay. I'll do the turtle. I have to draw a picture of one from a book. Oh, should we collect some shells, Grandpa? Good idea, Zoo. You find some for your mum, and I'll find some for the garden. All right. There's some big ones over there. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, I'm being a crab. So am I. Grandpa, Mum will love this red and blue one. Oh, yes. Shall we have a paddle before we go back? Great idea. We can get the shells later. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> 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 Hawk doesn't like getting his feet wet. <laughs> Let's go and get the shells, Grandpa. Then I can finish my project at home. Right you are, Zoo. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> oh, where did the red and blue shell go? Maybe someone picked it up. But we're the only ones here. Hmm. There it is. Maybe a seagull took it. Oh, uh, yeah, you could be right, Zoo. Hmm? It has moved again. Did you move it, Pop? Now another one has moved. <gasps> hey, come back, Shell. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Look, Grandpa, that Shell has legs. <gasps> <laughs> now I understand. It's a hermit crab. They move into a new shell when they grow too big for the old one. It's looking for a new home. It carries its home on its back. So I can write about the hermit crab for my project. Yes, you can, Zoo. Yay! Crabs rock. <laughs> Look. He likes his old one better. Well, choosing a new house is a big decision, Zoo. Yes, he wants one that's just right. <sighs> Looks like he's found it. <laughs> he, he's making sure it's a good fit. This is brilliant. No one else at school is doing a hermit crab for their projects. Much better than a snail, or a tortoise, or a turtle, or a terrapin. It's the best. Bye, Hermit Crab. Thank you for helping me with my project. Let's go and take these shells home, shall we? Yes, but I need to do this first. It's for when the Hermit Crab grows too big for his shell again. <laughs> what a good idea, Zoo. Come on, then. Time to go back to our own shell. <laughs> Hello there. Thank you for my shells, Bizu. I love them. They look great around the bathroom. I'll put some of the smaller ones around my plants. What do you think, Zoo? The hermit crab 
carries its home on its back. Uh, uh, zoo? Oh, sorry, Grandpa. Just writing my project. <gasps> you know, Grandpa, I'm really glad we don't have to carry our house on our back. Oh, yes. So am I, Zoo. So am I. <laughs> 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 Zoo and the Big Delivery Oh, this traffic is dreadful We won't be back for our Big Delivery I'll ask Grandpa to go to the shop for us <gasps> Oh, I left my phone at home Use mine, it's in my bag <sighs> Oh. 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 Hmm. Be good, Zach. See you at tea time. Bye, Dad. Hello? Oh, Xavier, yes. Oh, I see. I'm with Zoo and Zach, but we can all go. Bye. Uh, bye. Uncle Xavier and Aunt Zelda are stuck in traffic, so we need to go over and wait at the shop for their delivery. Yeah! <laughs> oh, no, I nearly forgot their spare key. Grandpa, if there's a lot of boxes, how do we get them in the shop? Oh, I'm sure the delivery man will bring them in for us. Yes, they do that. I help my dad empty them afterwards. It takes ages if there's lots. Hmm, maybe I'll be a delivery man when I grow up and drive a big van. What do you think, Pog? Here we are, then. Oh, no sign of the delivery van yet. Yes, there's a lot to see, but be careful, both of you. We don't want to break anything. All right, Grandpa. <laughs> so, where did you go? Gotcha! <laughs> don't forget to listen out for the delivery man, both of you. <laughs> what a nice computer. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Whoa! <gasps> Did you hear that? That's a list of all the items for sale in the shop. Mm -hmm. There'll be lots more when the delivery man comes. But I think he's here. I'll go. Wait! Stop! Zack? Oh, no. Uh, I can't open it. The delivery man is... Come back! Oh, gone. Oh, I don't think I'll make a good delivery man after all. We missed the delivery. I don't think we did. Hmm. <laughs> Xavier was right when he said it was a big delivery. Now what do we do? Let's unpack the boxes. <laughs> like I do for my dad. Yes. And we can put things on display. Good idea, Zoo. Look, oh. paintbrushes. Lots of them. Let's put these on that little table. And some paintbrushes can go here. Oh, wonder what's in these. Let's see. Look at all these pens and pencils. And some rulers, too. Oh, yeah. They won't all fit on here. 
<laughs> That's better. That's a big box, Zoo. Yes, it could have anything in it, even an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, didn't know they sold these. Well, no, nor me. Perhaps they'll look good as part of the window display or hung around the shop. Good idea, Grandpa. Zoo's grandpa. What is he doing in the shop window? I think he's trying to display things. <laughs> he's quite artistic. Look, Zack and Zoo are inside too. Let's go and see what they're up to. <sighs> ah, our first customers. Hi, Zoo. Hello. What are you doing here? We're helping my Aunt Zelda and Uncle Xavier. We had to be here for their big delivery. Oh, I see. These are nice. They've only just been delivered. Perfect. Just what I need for my new painting. I usually get these from Mr Zoe. Can I have this one, please? Of course. We'll take them both. Here you are, Zoo. Thank you, Zoo. I'll wrap them up for you. <laughs> Why, thank you. Ah, oh, it looks too pretty to open. See you later. Bye. 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 Hello there. I'm surprised to see you here. Oh, hello, Mrs Zolly. We're helping out Zelda and Xavier today. Well, I'm very glad you are. Mr Zoe's is shut and I need some plastic piping for my leaky sink. You're lucky, Mrs Zolly. It's only just been delivered. <laughs> that looks lovely, Zoo. Maybe I'll be a rapper rapper when I grow up, if I'm not a delivery man. Here you are. That looks about right, Mrs Ollie. Well, I'd better be off to fix that leaky sink. <laughs> Bye. 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 Ah, well done, you two. I think Zelda and Xavier will be very pleased with all our hard work. Yes, Grandpa. And we sold some things, too. Hello, everyone. My, what a day. The big delivery came OK. Oh, yes, Aunt Zelda. We put it all on display for you. Huh? But this isn't what we ordered. No. But it's what was delivered. Well, I... 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 Um, <laughs> it's very curious. <sighs> I think my dad wanted me back for tea time. Oh, yes, so he did, Zach. Uh, Xavier, Zach did say he'd be home for his tea. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you take Zach home and we'll try and work out what's happened. W won't be long. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little help, Mr Zoe. Oh, hello. Yes, silly me. I'd completely forgotten I had a big delivery today. <laughs> we'll help you empty the boxes. aren't mine. I didn't order cushions. Hmm. And I didn't order those placemats either. What is going on? 
The delivery man must have mixed up the orders. <laughs> Zoo's right. Oh, it's a simple mistake. We can sort it out very easily. Come with me. Here's the money for the items Zoo and Grandpa sold today. Thank you. I hope the delivery man mixes things up again. I made sales even though I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put your boxes in my car. I'll drive you home and then I can collect our boxes from you. That sounds like a plan. And while you're doing that, Zoo and I are going to do one final delivery. Oh! Hmm? oh. We're going to deliver ourselves home. <laughs> <laughs> Zippy Zoo. Sorry, Mr. Zoe, but today the street is closed to traffic. We know. It's street party day. We've got the party tables and music. All right, then. You're the only vehicle I'm allowing in the street today, Mr. Zoe. Of course. As soon as we've unloaded, I'll go and park the van in the next street. In you go. Party chairs now. Let's see. One for Nana, one for Grandpa, one for Grandma, Mum, Dad, Elsie's Mum, Mr. Zoe, Elsie, Zach, and Zoo. Yes, that's a lot. <laughs> a quick wipe down to get rid of the dust, and they'll be good as new. Right. What's that? Oh, no. Do you think? Has the party started, Pock? <coughs> it's going to be a great party. Hello, Zoo. Hello. Are you coming? Of course I am. We're going to have lots of fun. I'm ready. I'll just go tell everyone the party's starting. Hurry up. You don't want to miss it. All right. <laughs> oh. Grandpa! Grandpa! The party's starting! <laughs> oh, hold your stripes. I've got to fix this first. Oh. <sighs> Now, what did I do with that spare piece of blue and white striped material? Can't you use something else? A job isn't worth doing if you don't do it properly. Oh. Why don't you run off and get the rest of the family together while I mend the chair? Good idea! <laughs> Mum! It's time to go. I haven't quite finished the table decorations, Bizu. We'll miss the party! This crepe paper tears very easily. I've got to be extra careful. Hmm. <laughs> Grandma! Are you ready for the party? Not yet, Zoo. My fruit salad isn't quite done. It looks done to me. What's missing? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> mm. Finishing touches. Hmm. Anyway, we won't be able to eat anything until I find the picnic knives, forks, and spoons. Oh. <whistles> Nana! Um, oh. hmm. Are you ready for the party, Nana? Uh, no. I've got to choose my party parasol. <sighs> Why is it taking everybody so long? I've been ready for ages. That's because you're such a zippy little zebra. <gasps> zippy? It means that you are very fast. 
family were as sippy as me. <gasps> I know! I'll help them. That way, they'll be ready sooner and we can go to the party. Nana! I'm Zippy Zoo and I'm going to help everybody get ready for the party really quickly. Oh, and how are you going to do that? Watch! Here goes Zippy Zoo! <laughs> there! The perfect party parasol! Oh, how oh, oh, so it is! It matches my dress beautifully! Thank you! Oh! <laughs> Zippy Zoo is here to help finish the fruit salad. Oh, I see. Uh, how about uh, sprinkling a little sugar? Here goes Zippy Zoo. Watch me zip. Oh, well done. I could do with Zippy Zoo's help too. Here goes Zippy Zoo again. Hmm. <laughs> Party knives, forks and spoons. Great! I wouldn't have found them in time without Zippy Zoo's help. I'm Zippy Zoo. Mom! What can Zippy Zoo do for you? Put the flowers in the box. I'm Zippy Zoo. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Finished already? <laughs> that was fast, Zoo. <laughs> Ready, Zoo? Oh, yes, Zoo. Yes, Zoo, we're ready. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> now the party can get started. Ooh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> party time! Mmm. <laughs> Ugh. What's wrong with my fruit salad? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, it's salty. But how? Oh, huh? I must have used salt instead of sugar. <gasps> uh, where are the knives and forks? I didn't think of opening the pack and checking. Oh, oh no. <sighs> how did this happen? The lid didn't fit, so I had to push the flowers down a little. Uh, oh. Uh, oh! Help! I'm stuck! No, no, hold on! Oh, there's glue all over this. I must have used too much glue. <laughs> it looks like Zippy Zoo was a trifle too zippy. I thought if I helped everyone, we could get to the party quicker. I'm really sorry. Cheer up. We'll soon put everything right. <laughs> we'll all help. Yay! <laughs> 
So, do you see now that a job isn't worth doing? If you don't do it properly. Yes, I know that's now. Mr Zoe, can the party start again now? Of course. Music! <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Good job we noticed that so quickly. <laughs> oh, nearly. Oh, nicely safe. Phew. That was close. Sometimes it's good to be fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Zoo's family photo. I'm off to do some shopping. See you later, Bizu. Bye. See you later, Mum. Zoo, why are you wearing your new dungarees? The family photo isn't until this afternoon. Yes. I know, but I really wanted to wear them. Can I keep them on? Please, Mum. But I know you. You'll get them all muddy. I won't. Promise. I'll be really careful. Hmm. All right, then. But make sure you keep them clean, Bizu. Of course I will. Thanks, Mum. Yes! <laughs> Hi, Elsie. Hi! Zoo! Hey, Zoo! Hmm? Elsie, do you want to come and play? Oh, I promised to help Grandpa in the garden. <laughs> That's all right, Zoo. You two go and play. Thanks, Grandpa. I like your dungarees, Zoo. Are they new? Yes, they are. Do you like them? We're having a family photo taken later on. I promised Mum I wouldn't get dirty, so we can't play any messy games. Hmm. How about... Uh... Mm. I know. Babington. We'll have to keep the shuttlecock in the air and make sure it doesn't touch the ground. The perfect game for not getting messy. Yes! Grandpa, we're going to play Babington. Uh, uh, good idea. You'll need the rackets and the shuttlecock from the garage. Come on. <laughs> hmm. Here you go. Thanks, Grandpa. Thank you. <laughs> Shum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, where's that shuttlecock? Huh? Uh. <gasps> oh, found it! Aha! Well done, Zoo. <gasps> Zoo, your dungarees! <gasps> oh no! Oh, don't worry. It's just a bit of dust. There. Phew! That was close. I nearly got dirty. All nice and clean again. Thanks, Grandpa. OK, Elsie. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll get back to my vegetable patch. should play something else. But what? I know. Let's have a race. We'll run round the house and the first one back here wins. All right. Ready, steady, go! <gasps> I'm going to win. Running 
wasn't such a good idea. No, maybe not. Let's play something else. What about... I spy! You can't get dirty playing that. Oh, Zoo. <laughs> you shouldn't leave the tap running. First. You! All right. So, I spy with my little eye something blue. Um... The sky! <laughs> no, silly. Your dungarees. <laughs> <laughs> Sue! Elsie! Look what I've got! It's called a Diabolo. You spin it round and round on the string like this, and then you throw it up into the air and catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Can I have a go, Zack? Uh-huh. Here you are. <laughs> Zoo! Look out for that puddle! <gasps> oh, no! Uh -huh. I promised Mum I'll keep clean! Hello, children. Oh, what's with the sad faces? Mm. I got my dungarees dirty, Grandma. And I promised Mum I'd stay clean for the family photo. Oh, don't worry, Zoo. We'll give them a wash. They should dry in no time. Thanks, Grandma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! There. Good as new. They are new, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so what can we play now? I can't <laughs> get all muddy again. Probably not Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we make some more bubbles? Ah, oh, yes! Aha! Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. I might just have something to help you with that. What are you doing, Grandpa? You'll see. <sighs> hmm. There. Grandpa's special bubble wands. Thanks, Grandpa. Wow. Oh, we don't have enough space to play here. Let's go over there. <laughs> wow! Cool! Bubbly! Watch me! I'm going to blow a big bubble! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Zack! Grandpa! Are you any good at blowing big bubbles? Uh, let me see. <sighs> hmm. I think I might be. Huh? Hmm. Ready? Ready. <laughs> now, prepare to be amazed. Here we go. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> I think it uh, likes you, Zoo. So. Um, yes. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Soap cleans things, Zoo. It doesn't make them dirty. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello there. <laughs> Mom! Hello. <gasps> <gasps> oh, no! My dungarees! Mm. I tried really hard to keep them clean all day, Mum. Oh, never mind, Bisu. I'm sure you tried your best. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Mum, your dress! Oh. <laughs> well, Bisu, it looks like you won't be the only muddy one in the photo. <laughs> <laughs> you! Are you there? Yes, at the back of the house. Oh, there you are. I'm all ready to take your photo. So are we. <laughs> Everyone ready? Yes! Say cheese! Mud! Oh. <laughs> Mud! <laughs> Lost and found. Oh no, my scarf! I'll get it! Hey, got it! Thanks, Sue. Lucky you're good at catching. Hang on, where's your scarf? You were wearing one too, weren't you? <gasps> oh no, where's it gone? Maybe it blew away like mine did. Come on, let's go back and look for it. Mm, I really like that scarf. Don't worry, my mum's shown me a great way of finding things. <laughs> she keeps losing things all the time. So, how does she find her lost stuff? She thinks back to all the things she did before it disappeared. She calls it retracing her steps. Huh? You go back over what you've been doing. That's retracing your steps. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. I said goodbye to Zack. Goodbye, Zack. And then we said hello to Mrs. Zolly. Hello, hello Mrs. Mrs. Zolly. Oh, hello again, you two. I thought we'd just said our goodbyes. I've lost my scarf, so we're retracing my steps. You haven't seen it, have you? Oh, dear. No, I haven't. But if I do, I'll be sure to let you know. Thanks anyway, Mrs. Zolly. We'll carry on retracing my steps. <laughs> so, what did you do next? Well, I saw this really pretty leaf and I picked it up. And then your scarf blew away. And then... And then here we are back home again. And I haven't found my scarf. i better go and tell Mum. Hi, Mum. Oh, dear. You're looking sad, Bizu. Something wrong? I lost my scarf. Elsie and I looked for it everywhere, but we couldn't find it. Sorry, Mum. Oh. These things happen. Never mind, Zoo. It'll give me a chance to knit you a new one. Thanks, Grandma. And I promise not to lose the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Now I've lost my notebook, too! I'm losing things all over the place. Oh, no. Hmm, I'm going to have to be more careful. Right, I'm never going to lose anything ever again. How can you be sure? Well, I'll... Oh, uh, I don't know. I've got an idea. Come on, Sue. Maybe if everything had a place of its own. That way, you wouldn't lose anything. That's how I do it in my room. I mustn't lose Zebrator. He's my best toy. Where would be a good place for him? Um, there. That's your place, Zebrator. But what if I forget where I put him? I know. Let's draw a map. And mark him on it. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five. 
17, 18, 33, 34, and, and 35. 35. If I put all my other toys in the box, I won't lose them either. Zoo, you can't put everything in there. But I've got to. I've marked it on the map. And there's so much stuff I don't want to lose. Zoo. Oh, Zoo. Sounds like Nana needs me. Come on. Nana? Ah, oh, there you are, Zoo. I could do with your help. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me, Nana. That's Elsie. I'm over here. Oh, so you are. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> well, I do have an excuse for muddling you up. I've lost my glasses. No, you haven't, Nana. They're on top of your head. <laughs> oh, of course they were. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just teasing you. <laughs> oh, Nana. <laughs> well, maybe I wasn't. But in future, I'll keep my glasses there. That way, I'll always know where they are and I won't lose them. That is a good idea, Nana. And I think you've given me an idea. Oh. my pen. So Nana doesn't lose her glasses, she's going to keep them on her head all the time. Yes, I know. So... Well, I'll do what Nana did with her glasses. I'll just keep everything with me all the time. Can you help me, Aldi? Okay, Zoo. Now, my pencils. Don't want to lose them. Um, and my favourite teddy. Sue, you won't be able to walk around. I will. Stick them in there. <laughs> hmm. Elsie, I think you might be right. I don't think I can walk around. And whew, it's getting a bit hot. Whew, this isn't working. <laughs> good thinking, Pock. Grandpa always has good ideas. Where is it? Dad, is something wrong? I've lost my paper. I'm sure I left it on the table. Everyone's losing things today. We'll help you look for it. No, not there. Oh, now where is it? Here it is. Well done, Zoo. Let's go and see Grandpa. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, hello, you two. Just in time, too. I could do with a couple of helpers. I've lost my hammer. I've looked everywhere for it, but it's just disappeared. I'm, I'm sure I put it down there. Unless... Oh, I might have left it here. Don't worry, Grandpa. We'll find it. Ooh, or uh, in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh please don't! <laughs> <laughs> There's the hammer. Ah, 
<laughs> no, not the hammer. That's my monkey wrench. <laughs> I thought I'd lost that ages ago. Grandpa, hmm? Pox found your hammer. You planted it in a flower pot. <laughs> now, why would I do a silly thing like that? Thanks for finding it, Pock. <laughs> Zoo, something wrong? I seem to be finding everyone else's things except my own. Today, I've lost my scarf and my notebook. I never used to lose things. Well, I'm sure they'll turn up soon. Things usually do. Come on. Ah, oh, Zoo. Well, Zoo, you are very good at finding stuff. <laughs> Even if you're good at losing it, too. Yes. It's a good thing we've got you around to help out. Oh, it certainly <laughs> is. <laughs> Come on, Elsie. Let's have another look for my notebook. Ooh, doorbell. Hi, Zoo. My scarf, my notebook. Where did you find them? In my school bag. I picked up your things by mistake at school today. Sorry. I'm really pleased you found them. <sighs> we can stop looking now. And start playing. Do you want to play, Zank? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> and let's make sure we don't lose anything. <laughs> Zoo's lollipop. Ooh, busy morning, Zoo. Really busy, Mrs. Zolly. Hi, Zoo. Hello. We're going to the park. Want to come with us, Zoo? I can't. I'm helping Grandma with her shopping. OK. See you later, then. Elsie, stop! <gasps> oh! Wait for Mrs. Zolly. Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Mrs. Zolly. Let's do this properly, shall we? Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Zolly. Have fun at the park. Do my job without my lollipop stick. That's so clever. <gasps> See you later, Mr. Zoe. Come on, Zoo. Grandma, can I have a lollipop stick? What would you do with it, dear? I'd like to help people. Just like Mrs. Zolly. Oh, well, I'm sure Grandpa can help you make one. <laughs> uh, could you pass me another nail, please, Sue? Mrs. Zolly said she couldn't do her job without her lollipop stick. <laughs> then we'd better make sure we do a good job on yours. Forget the signals either. This is stop. And this is the signal to wave traffic on. <laughs> there we go. All done, lollipop boy. Brilliant. Thank you, Grandpa. Come on, Pock. Let's go and get Elsie. All right, Elsie. This is Zoo Town. Here I come, driving in my car. Brum, brum. Brum, 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 Stop! Brum. Screech! All clear to cross, Pock. Okay, you can go, Elsie. <laughs> brum, brum, brum. 
<laughs> I like being a lollipop boy. Zoo, dinner time. I'd better go too. See you later, Elsie. I'm going to help everyone safely get to dinner. Stop, Nana. Why, dear? Is something wrong? No, just checking if it's all clear. Safe to go into the dining room, Nana. Thank you, dear. Oh, whoops. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Nana. Didn't see you. Stop, Grandpa. Go, Nana. After you, Nana. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> go, Grandpa. Thank you, Zoo. <gasps> Stop, oh. Mum. <laughs> go, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm gone. Zoo, <gasps> I really need to get this food on the table. Go, Mum. <gasps> go, food. <laughs> oh no! Mum! Dad! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? <gasps> Zoo! <gasps> Sorry. Don't worry, Zoo. It was an accident. At least Mum didn't drop the dinner. Hmm. I'm not a very good lollipop boy. Don't give up so easily, Zoo. You just need more practice. In a far bigger space. Ooh. In the park, <laughs> perhaps? I've got an idea. Let's go to the beach tomorrow. <gasps> <laughs> There's plenty of space there. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Zolly, I'm going to practice being a lollipop boy in the beach. Good for you, Zoo. Why don't you come and join us when you've finished work, Mrs. Zolly? You could give Zoo some advice, too. Oh, thank you. I'll bring some ice cream for the lollipop boy. Thank you. See you later, Mrs. Zolly. Later, Zinnia. First, I want to practice being a lollipop boy. OK, see you later. Hi, Sue. Want to help us build a space rocket? I will later, Zack. Maybe you should practice being a lollipop boy after we've had a paddle. Stay in the shallow water, Zoo. Yes, Mum. And don't let go of Dad's hand. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 oh, watch out! Oh no! Stop! Oh, no! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Dad! A crab! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh, what a shame. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Zolly. Ooh. No harm done, Zack. We'll have this fixed in no time. Mm. <gasps> oh. oh, my goodness. Looks like it's time to help out, Zoo. Mm. Where shall we start? <laughs> Let's 
Let's help the crab first. All right. Off you go, then. <laughs> hmm. All clear to cross the beach, little crab. <laughs> Good job, Zoo. What next? I'd like to help Zack rebuild his space rocket. OK. I'll keep an eye on the volleyball game. And I'll go and see if I can help Mum with the picnic. <laughs> Watch what you're doing, girls. We'll try and keep the ball where it belongs, Mrs Zolly. Thank you. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! <laughs> oh. <gasps> Anybody hungry? I'm starving. Me too. Hold on, Zach. We don't want any more accidents. All clear. Go. <laughs> Wait for us. We're hungry too. Don't rush. Remember what happened last time. Off you go. <laughs> I think that's a job well done, Zoo. Thanks, Mrs. Zolly. Has everybody got something to eat and drink? Yes! Wait for my signal. Go! Time to eat! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>